I mean, can somebody please get Darwinian evolution out of the schools already? Over 1,000 scientists completely disagree with this evolution theory. Watch Stephen Meyer put the final nail in the coffin. Let's play it. That's right. And, and oddly, in that case, they were known to be fraudulent from since 1894. The famous uh, Cambridge embryologist Adam Sedwick, Sedwick had exposed that almost a century ago. Stephen Jay Gould thought this was just an appalling uh, recycling of, of bad science in our textbooks. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, 1894, I, I was not in school uh, <laughs> then. It, it is pretty amazing. The same thing with the, um, the famous, I don't know if it's still there, at the Museum of Natural History, the Eohippus. Do you know what I'm talking about? The, the horse sequence. The, the, hor yeah, the, yeah. the horse sequence. The, I, don't, I don't even know if that's still there anymore, but it, it, it seems that it was the same kind of thing, basically fudge, that it, it's not necessarily something that happened. I mean, any of this kind of stuff is big news to me, I have to say. And then the idea that there are these big gaps in the fossil record, also not exactly something that's taught in the schools, at least not where I went to school. Well, and, and what you're finding in the peer-reviewed literature is this engineering problem, as I refer to it, you know, is, is really what's, what is uh, generating a lot of skepticism among evolutionary biologists, because the complexity of these systems, just let me try one little technical argument and see if we can make this clear. It's really fascinating to me. There are these, w to build an animal, it turns out that you not only need all this genetic information, but there are, are, are circuits. Um, uh, and these circuits are crucial to getting the right cells to differentiate, to getting cells to differentiate from each other and go to the right place as you're building an animal as it unfolds from embryo to adult. But there's a problem. As we've done, uh, as, as developmental biologists have done experiments on this circuitry, they're called developmental gene regulatory networks, they find that even modest alterations in these circuits have catastrophic, uh, catastrophic effects. But to build a new animal, you need new types of circuitry to make sure that there's the cells in the other type of animal get to their right places. To, to build one animal form from another, you need a new type of circuit, but you can't alter the original circuit without destroying the animal during its development. Mm -hmm. And you have these kinds of problems. I look at four or five of this, these types of really intractable engineering problems confronting the evolutionary mechanism. And it's one of the reasons that so many top-line evolutionary biologists are themselves looking for a new approach. Not well. necessarily intelligent design. They're saying this, this neo-Darwinian uh, approach is, is, is failing us. That means that me and you were lied to the entire time during school. Even since the beginning of understanding this, they were lying to people. That's the crazy part because I got a lot of atheist friends, they don't want to believe in Jesus or God, so they lean over to evolution and science, which has a tremendous amount of pitfalls and the people that are leading it have been lying to you the whole time. You are an honest scientist, you probably lost your job. I'm so happy with all of these technological advancements in science, we're able to fully debunk Darwinian evolution, especially when it comes to genetics. Thank you, Stephen Meyer.